Hey everyone, welcome to my video. In this video we are going to be modeling this clamp model, bicycle clamp. Let's start. We open a new part and in front plane we create a sketch. And then we have here one 30mm diameter circle and one more so circle which is 6mm. That makes 42mm in total diameter and then we create a vertical line and convert in construction geometry and a line exactly line group how it is looking on my screen and then I'm selecting this all and mirror entities by this axis I'm making a mirror this is going to be a tangent this is going to be 4 mm degree between it is 45 and the final dimension from here to here 27 and you can send unnecessary parts but my sketch turned into the un uh, underdefined mode then I can give again a uh, relation and then sending this to a sketch is selected and then we go extrude both space and I'm choosing which areas I wanna make and the option is mid plane and 13 millimeter high yes we have it and then we have in this area 3 millimeter chamfers exactly and after we create here a cutout which is 34 millimeter and with 10 millimeter deepness yes this is also fine and now we have another cutout inside front plane I open a sketch Sketch one is this, uh, circle one is this, and the second is let's make 45. This is already 30, and we create one construction geometry and two more line here. Yes, this will be 35. This will be 90 degree and I don't cut unnecessary parts and uh, the area where we wanna make uh, the cutout our profile contour is here and I open mid plane option and with 6 mm highness I create a record out and after fill it with a full round fillet command I'm choosing my three surface and I don't want to turn my part and I just say select other and choose the surface because I have a problem with my mouse and also I wanted to show you another uh, option select other here yes this is exactly uh, what we want and then uh, I'm going to create our spatial chamfer and right plane we open a sketch and from here to in this area I'm putting a line and here I have 3 millimeter here I have 7 millimeter dimension it is just a basic line and then with this line we are just going to create a split on the uh, surface I get a uh, error I will check what it is maybe sorry 
Oh, projection. Sorry, I select the uh, wrong. Going to be projection. I close split line projection. This is our sketch. This is our surface. And on that surface, as you see, we create a split on the surface. And here also, I will make a, a split. But now I have a plane and surface, that's why I'm making intersection. We could create with also with a sketch, but I don't need to make it there. And uh, after this, uh, we just create here one triangle, which is for 45 degree. Uh, triangle this two edge will be same and I think this should be perpendicular and then we have a fully defined sketch here and the other operation going to be here where our uh, top surface and here I have a, uh, a semi arc and we make tangency also, I want to copy this surface. I want to copy this dimension uh, because of that. I just want to make equality here. I'm just giving same dimension. Won't be so much problem. Perpendicular, and this construction geometry will be same with this line, but I think we are not able to give it. This is this dimension 88, 0 0.88. Then we can just say here 0 0.88 millimeter. And I, ha I have here one profile, one helping line, and other uh, existing as uh, surface splits. And here I put a point. When you look, profile, one helping line, guideline, we can say, and one point. And then low to the cut, I select already my point, and here we have this profile and guide curve one. This is second guide curve curve here, which is exist on my edge, and the third guide guide curve, the other line which I uh, surface uh, split that I create exactly this is what we want and selected body is going to be this body after this operation I just going to to cut my unnecessary areas to make mirror because before I created this I had some problems with creating a mirror that's why I'm choosing now to delete on all unnecessary areas because of my model is symmetric I just make mirror. As you see, uh, we have uh, created this nice chamfer, and we have uh, made a mirror, and we have almost final model. This area we have a sort of a five millimeter chamfer, and we are looking to normal too. And here, uh, here we are opening a new sketch which is uh, 7 mm diameter and from here to here I have a 7.5 mm dimension and from here to here I have 20 mm after this operation we just cut this surface this area as you see here we have a cutout and then I'm putting here two little chamfer and the open and if sketch again and I just convert my this uh, entity and I make 13 mm high uh, new part here and the make just isolate and what we have here a pin kind of part and I give a color on it because of in the bicycle and industry parts especially should be not heavy they are choosing aluminum uh, I think the, the, the reason of in this part they make this part with a steel because of there was a screw on it 
in the, the performance of the scripts in aluminum it is not that high even you choose uh, the higher service of aluminum if you are so much untightened you have some problem and that's why uh, they insert here a uh, metal part and a screw inside steel part so yeah. and uh, they used here uh, 4.5 millimeter uh, hole which is for 4 millimeter uh, metric 4 uh, hole size and uh, I directly cut my part and here we have a extra sketch which is going to be 8 mm and with 8 mm offset from surface I'm cutting the other area this is for the uh, square place the other place also for free and now I just going to create a one whole visor on the surface and cut my part and this is our plane and I just change uh, select it and with control mouse button I choose to object and say make uh, concentric after I'm choosing the body that I wanna cut yes as you see here we, we cut a metric four hole and this hole through hole is empty and uh, now the only thing that we should put inside our uh, bolt and then I'm making some uh, quick name on it and assembly and I am choosing my part it is coming on my screen and from uh, machine screws if you open the toolbox toolbox and din and bolts and screws we have here uh, hexagon socket uh, head screws and one of them I am choosing and I'm saying create part metric for length is, length is 20 I cl close it and I am bringing here my bolt with the alt uh, alter uh, button on the mouse I'm just moving uh, by selecting my body and the, 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 the surface which is cylindrical program automatically understanding there is a relationship should be and after I'm putting here my uh, bolt and giving relationship uh, this is a little bit uh, short I think we should uh, choose the one more longer bolt but for this tutorial it is now ok uh, this was all uh, uh, we create a nice model and I think you enjoy it